Hi, welcome to this tutorial series on the Ultimate Shooting System version 2 or V2 on the Unreal Marketplace. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this into a multi-part video series where each uh, part goes into the different parts such as grenades, damage, shotgun, destruction, etc. Um, so this video is just the intro and all I'm going to do is show you how to find the plugin in the content browser, how to, uh, what what the categories are on the settings and how to find them and also the names of each nodes and how to use them um, so with that said let's go ahead and get into it so there's going to be demo content for it however you're not going to see it inside your content browser since it's not blueprint so what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to your content browser and over here under settings okay you'll want to go to show engine content by default it'll probably be set to unchecked and you won't see it um, then you enable it and you'll be able to see it down here and then from there you'll go to plugins and you'll find ultimate shooting system content um, and then you will go in there and you'll find uh, this content right here these folders so there's two different folders there's necessary content which is the destruction shader you want to keep this okay um, it comes with a material function that lets you um, add destruction to your map and then there's also demo content in here there's a little map that I made for testing out the features that you can look through um, for example these are non-physics objects that you can use the destruction shader with and even the wall count so you can line up a shot and shoot through them um, which is a feature you can test the physics impulse on these you can test destru chaos destruction with these and then um, you can also just kind of like test decals and all particles and all the rest. Uh, the plugin does not come with any like high quality assets and the reason for that is Epic Games doesn't let me use um, particles and decals and stuff that I don't make and I'm not a texture artist or a particle artist. I'm a programmer so those are not my special house. So I've made so I've just made some basic like um, some basic uh, there's, there's a bullet hole image here that you can use for the destruction. But there's also just like basic little squares and stuff that you can use. Um, it's just a black square. So um, it, it's basic It's basic content. Don't buy this for having assets that you can use in a commercial game. Buy it for the code. So with that said, um, the, uh, the next thing that I want to go over is the nodes inside the demo content, which you can find under demo content, character, blueprints, first person character. It comes with the standard uh, Unreal movement stuff, and then there's also these. So this is if you if you go to your components and you go to Add and you type in Ultimate Shooting. Okay, you'll see this Ultimate Shooting. Add it here, and then once you click on it, you'll see all these uh, defaults, variables, and all that stuff. Um, don't worry about these right now. I'm going to go over each one of these in their categories in respective videos. So. For this video, I just want to go off over how to use the uh, nodes. So all you got to do is take your component from your component window and drag it into the event graph. It'll create a little node here. And then you can drag off and you can do, I believe it's under ultimate shooting system down here if you scroll down. Make sure you have contents, context sensitive enabled. And you'll find these nodes. So the uh, plugin supports pretty much all the shooting stuff you'd expect. Uh, shotgun line traces, shotgun projectiles. Each one has line trace and projectiles. Uh, single shot, perfect projectile, which is basically a projectile that'll always go to the um, the hit spot, unlike normal projectiles. Um, you usually see this in games like Apex. Uh, it also works similar to the single shot line trace. However, you can add your own projectile stuff to it. Um, You've got shrapnel explosion and basic shrapnel explosion. These are used on grenade projectile actors, uh, not the character. And these two I will go over in their own video. Um, you've also got the automatic with start and stop. And that works as you expect. You use a start and then you pull the stop off release of the key press. Okay. Um, so that handles the timers and everything for you. So uh, I have these on key presses. And each node will come with a couple inputs, so you'll need a camera. This is where it will determine the line trace from and the spawn point. Or not the spawn point, but the line trace from where to uh, shoot. 
so that way it like goes into your crosshair. So I'm just using the camera it comes with because it's in the middle. So the crosshair, if you look at it here, the crosshair will be directly in front of the camera. If you're using like a third person character, you'll probably want to use a camera that's not um, the one you're viewing from because then it will line up properly with the, um, the um, what do you call it, um, crosshair that you set. So this camera just lines up with the crosshair. The spawn point is a scene component, and then you just go in here and you add scene component. Uh, let's see here. Scene, just type in scene and you'll find it. Um, and name it spawn point or whatever you want. Um, but I call it spawn point. And what this does is it'll make sure that the bullet always comes from the barrel and then lines up with the camera. So it'll spawn from the barrel and then it'll line up with the camera wherever the camera is. So like if my camera's over here, actually it's gonna, it's not gonna work because they're parented. But if I had a camera that was like over here, it would spawn from the bullet and then line up over here. Uh, like in a big triple game, like a triple A game would have. Okay, you also have the montage mesh. This is your skeletal mesh that has the guns or the, um, the character on them. Um, you can even use this with guns if you want. But it just play, it's for playing a montage. So whatever you set this to, it'll play montages on it, which you can find in the general, uh, right here, shooting montage. You can find that in there. There's an actress to ignore on the line trace, um, and that's just for self. It's, it's necessary for, um, for line traces, so I had to put that in there. Just drag off of it and choose make array, and then choose self. Line traces require that, so I couldn't get around that. Um, but it also lets you, if you have any specific actors that you want to ignore that are not yourself, you can also add them here on the add pin. Um, remove array. Alright, and then the fire speed is exactly what it sounds like, is how often it fires. This is a timer. So um, this would be, this would fire every 0.1 of a second. Um, so that makes pretty self-explanatory. All of the nodes pretty much follow the same, the same um, uh, pattern for inputs. These projectiles are a little bit different. They have a math override, sometimes called math override bar, sometimes called math override. Um, but th what this does is it lets you override the math I'm doing. So the math I'm doing is exactly like the projectile, uh, like the um, like the line traces. It'll spawn from the spawn point and then go in the forward direction of where you're looking. Um, if you don't want to use that, use the math override. If you do want to use it, just leave this as false and um, keep this empty. Uh, in the projectiles there is forward direction which is for like top downs the bullet will only go forward control rotation is the direction you're looking at so it'll always go like up diagonal diagonal down so forth um, so just keep that in mind so it works with both top down and um, and um, 3d 3d that was the word I was looking for okay so that's pretty much the nodes I'm gonna end the video here um, but this, I want to go over, before I do, I want to go over the rest of the uh, demo content and then I'll end it and then we'll go on to the next video, which should be uh, the grenade. So the rest of the demo content is pretty self-explanatory. There's just some assets that come with the character. Um, there's a chaos destruction. So if I, let me go ahead and show you here. Destroy. With, uh, so you can destroy chaos destruction with this, um, and as you notice, the bullets will um, they will always be in the, direct, in the direct spot. I don't have any decals or anything set up on these just right now, but we'll go over that in the future. Okay, so there is a um, there's a chaos destruction folder, and in here you got the chaos destruction actor, which is this right here. So this, uh, I'm sorry, this is the field. This is the field, and the way I did this is if you drag it in here. It's the master field class. So if you go into details, you can set up um, like a delay, whether it'll uh, destroy on tick. So if you do it on tick and you like drag this around, um, where is it? I'm trying to grab it. Oh, come on. There we go. So if you were to drag this around like this, whatever it hits would be destroyed on tick and so forth. Um, you can also change the shape to like a box. I'm just leaving it as a sphere. You can do the lay amounts and stuff like that. Um, 
This is this is just called BPK as destruction field. If you want to use this in your um, character for destruction, you can. It does exactly. Uh, it works like this. It works like that. Um, so it's going to be invisible in game as well. Okay, and then I have the geometry collections. I'll go over how to make these and set up an actor for it um, in a future video. We have a little basic HUD here that I made. Uh, I think it's just a little, yeah, it's just a little red crosshair just to test it. Um, you'll probably want to use your own for that. We've got a map, which is this map right here. Um, and then we've got some sound effects and VFX that you can use. I don't necessarily recommend doing using these as they're just placeholder assets. Um, but you know, you can do what you will with those. Uh, and then there's the, as we went over earlier, there's the necessary destruction shooter. The only one you'd probably need is the material function, the USS destruction, which I'll show in the destruction video. Okay. Uh, don't delete the necessary content. All right. That's it for this video. I will move on to the next and in, into the grenades. Uh, have a good one.